Hi, this is Dan and welcome to Habit Made. Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm actually excited to share with you another macrame bag project. This is super easy to do because you only have to know two knots. We're gonna use square knot and four flat braid. Another good thing about this bag is this can be reversible. So you can wear it like this and you could flip this inside out. This fringes on the side. Looks so good for your boho chick style. Anyway, let's get started. We also have macrame starter kit available for purchase on our social media accounts. For this project, we're gonna use 5mm cotton cord. Cut 36 cords with 305 cm length each. Attach it to the dowel or clothing rock. A lot 2 inches from the top. And start making rows of square knots. To make a square knot, we'll be working in groupings of 4. Please take time to watch 3 basic knots you need to learn to have a detailed guide on how to make square knot. Make sure your knots are even. Once done with the first row of square knots, continue knotting in between. Then proceed making the third row. We have to make 9 rows of square knots. Once we're done making 9 rows of square knots, we have to separate these 8 cords on this side. This will serve as our handle. For the handle, we're gonna make 4 flat braid. Get these 8 cords. Take these 2 middle cords. For these two cords, think of them as one. Make an X sign. 
and put these cords over and this left cords under make another x sign put this one on the right side over and on the left side under make another x sign put this over and this one under make another x sign over and under we just have to continue the process until we make six inches length of four flat braid Then I'm just going to lightly tie this because later we're going to continue making square knots. Then let's just do the same onto the other side. So get this 8 cords and make your 4 flat braid. Make a cross sign. And put this over and this one under make another X sign put this over and this one under make an X sign just make sure to have the same length as we have on the other side I'll also lightly tie this and I'm now gonna continue making square knots on this side I'm gonna start making square knots in between so as you can see you have to leave these two cords on the right side Then proceed on the next row. Make sure the length is also 6 inches. Then from this handle, we have to make another 2 square knots. Let me set aside these 4 cords and make a square knot. Take these cords back and make another square knot. And then we'll connect these two by making another square knot. So these two cords from the body and then these two cords from the handle. 
and we'll also make another square knot as you can see we have this straight line from the body up until the handle then let's do the same thing on to this side Then continue making rows of square knots. We have to make 9 rows again just like what we did on the top part. Now that we're done making 9 rows of square knots, let's just make sure that we have 9 rows on the top and 9 rows at the bottom. Now let's take this off the clothing rack. Now let's fold it in a half. Match the holes of our handle. Trim these excess cords, just leave enough space for you to create another square knot. Now we're gonna connect these two or we're gonna close this side by making another square knot. So get these two cords from the top and get these two cords from the other side. Remember, when making square knot, we have to work in groupings of four. So now we have four cords to make one square knot. I just put this box inside so it's easier to show you how to create square knot to connect our bag. Once we're done with the first square knot, let's set this aside and proceed in getting two cords from the right as well as these two cords from the left. Combine this together to create another square knot. Let's put it on the side as well and proceed with two cords from this side and then two cords from the left side. Make another square knot. We just basically have to repeat the process until we reach the end or the bottom part of the bag.
and down to our last square knot. So here's the square knots that we created to connect the bag. Also done connecting the other side. Now I'm gonna trim the fringe to my desired length. And you're done! You could actually wear it in two ways, one with fringe on the side to add to that boho chick vibe or flip it over if you would like to look more formal. video helpful please share it with me by using the hashtag habit made and tagging us in our social media accounts don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video